Ladies and gentlemen, our next session is the impact of AI on humanity. Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Deepak Chopra, and I'm absolutely delighted to be with all of you at Zeta Live and uh, the Zeta Global Conference. I'm a big fan of David Steinberg, and uh, uh, he's uh, accomplished extraordinary achievements um, as a result of his business uh, uh, leadership and taking Zeta Global as a global business, helping so many people in their corporate and business engagements, and now uh, getting involved in their well-being as well. So as a physician and uh, somebody who's interested in both wisdom traditions and also in technology, uh, I'd like to share some of the breakthroughs um, that are happening right now. And for anybody who's in the entrepreneurial field, there are many um, opportunities coming together right now uh, for creating new businesses and also understanding well-being in its totality. So if I were to look at the recent breakthroughs, I would say they are the following. First is artificial intelligence. AI is, a, as we know, a large language model system which can bring together multiple languages into a super language by looking at data sets in every discipline, biology, physics, mathematics, science, philosophy, art, religion, all these can be looked at and their languages can be all combined into a super language that uh, allows us to use AI not only as a research assistant, but also as a personal confidant and friend as uh, also an advisor for health and well-being, but also as the ultimate spiritual guru. So AI is the latest and most exciting development in the future of well-being. I know there are many people who are nervous about AI, and that's true of any new technology. You should be careful because technology is neutral and how we use it depends on our emotional and spiritual development. Hence the importance of also understanding who we are, what we want, what is our purpose, and what is our ultimate goal in the future of well-being, both for ourselves and for society at large and the world at large. Uh, using AI and its methodologies, we can in fact move in the direction of a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier, and joyful world. The second major breakthrough, uh, which actually is very recent, is what we call gene editing, CRISPR, molecular scissors that will allow us, metaphorically speaking, to cut and paste genes in the same way as we cut and paste our emails. So delete the defective gene, insert the right gene, and voila, you have cure for diseases that are determined genetically, fully determined or fully penetrant genes. Gene editing is here and uh, is going to be available for many kinds of uh, illnesses. Right now it's approved for sickle cell anemia, but you'll see, see, soon see gene editing for just about every chronic disease and also for, um, for uh, what I should say, uh, maximizing uh, well-being um, through the correlation of different activities in our body, including um, the activity of genes. The third major breakthrough, which occurred as a result of the COVID pandemic, is messenger RNA technology. As you know, messenger RNA was used, technology was used to create vaccines, but now we'll soon have the know-how to create vaccines for about 
any disease, including cancer. So gene editing will also help us uh, go in that direction, but messenger RNA will take it all to a new level, including the creation of uh, trillions of proteins. Right now, the world lives on mostly five proteins, chicken, poultry, that is, uh, fish, um, uh, pork, lamb, and beef. But with messenger RNA, we'll be able to make trillions of proteins and solve world hunger, create new vaccines as well. Um, gene editing is here to stay. The fourth breakthrough, I believe, is the psychedelic revolution and what we can uh, learn from it. You know, psychedelics are now um, being looked at and our foundation, Chopra Foundation, where David Steinberg is going to be a board member, I hope, or is in the process of being a board member. One of the things we do look at is um, the role of psychedelics and the research on that. We don't directly do psychedelic uh, uh, promotion, but we do promote the research, the role of psychedelic uh, psychedelics in the treatment of chronic illness, physical illness, mental illness, suicidal ideation. Even more importantly, the role of psychedelics in helping us go beyond the ego mind and seeing our connection to the larger expanse of consciousness. And that is something that I'm very interested in psychedelics. You'll be uh, psychedelics role in uh, giving us uh, what we call unity conscious experiences, um, universal experiences, getting the experience of being connected to all that is. And psychedelics are now also being used for uh, treatment of um, terminal illness and the fear of death. So terminal care, major breakthrough. The fifth breakthrough I would say is uh, the microbiome. 95% of the genetic information in your body is not human, but bacterial. And we can influence bacterial genomic health through diet and through exercise and through meditation and many other ways. So if genes are the software of your body and 95% are microbial, you can change the software and reinvent your body as well because the body is the 3D printout of that software. And this, all this research is paving the way for long life, longevity, but also health span. So these are major breakthroughs, but I want to mention another breakthrough, which actually correlates with all these. And I would call this the consciousness revolution. The consciousness revolution has given rise to new sciences like epigenetics, neuroplasticity, vagal stimulation, understanding the role of mind-body coordination, yoga, meditation, breathing techniques. When we put all this together and correlate that with our emotional and spiritual well-being, then we have a future of well-being that uh, I'm going to be um, going to be a little bold in saying this, we have a future of well-being where disease uh, might be considered optional, where we can extend our lifespans and health span, where we can enjoy a joyful, energetic body at all times, a loving and compassionate heart at all times, a quiet and creative mind at all times, and lightness of being at all times. The great spiritual traditions of the world say that there is something called a transcendent experience where we find ourselves and our identity uh, as beyond space and time. Uh, spiritual conditions, uh, traditions call that the soul, but we don't have to use those words. There is a fundamental awareness that exists which is beyond space and time. It's a field of consciousness 
and all the modes of knowing that field of consciousness. So that experience is called transcendence. The second spiritual experience is called the emergence of platonic values naturally. Truth, goodness, beauty, harmony, love, compassion, joy, equanimity. And the third component of that experience is the loss of the fear of death. Because death happens to perceptual activity, or we call perceived reality, but not the fundamental reality of consciousness as a field modifying itself as experiences in the theater of space-time and causality. So I congratulate David Steinberg for putting on uh, uh, Zeta Life and creating this amazing organization called Zeta Global. And I just want to share uh, that I am uh, very enthusiastic about everything that uh, Zeta Global is doing. And you can count me as an ally. In the meanwhile, please start every day with four intentions. Feel your body with the intention, joyful, energetic body. Put your awareness in your heart with the intention, loving, compassionate heart. Attention in the third eye, the vestigial third eye, the eye of insight with the intention, quiet, creative mind. And then let your awareness expand beyond the boundaries of your skin with the intention, lightness of being, and joy as the ultimate and only measure of both success and well-being. Thank you, David Steinberg, for inviting me to speak at your conference. I'm grateful and onward with a long journey, joyful journey ahead in the direction of freedom from suffering and and uh, the future of well-being at every level, physical, emotional, spiritual, and environmental. Thank you once again, and all the best. <laughs>